there's a big overlap between them, so a good proportion of clients with an eating disorder will self-harm. And I, I think in a very similar way, self-harm is, is emotional regulation. Um, so there's, there's definitely, and you, you can't say that somebody that's binging or purging or starving themselves isn't self-harming. They might not be cutting their skin or burning their skin or bruising their skin, but they're still harming their body. They're still choosing to do damage to the only thing that allows them to live. Yeah, yeah so the, well, something that you said earlier, I guess, how low, what a low opinion someone might have of themselves with an eating disorder. Yeah. So then how they, how that person might treat themselves. Yeah. 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 Thank you for making that link. And yeah, it, that's important for us to be watching out for with clients mm -hmm. as well, to see where those overlaps might be. Or, mm -hmm. yeah. And I um, never shy about asking clients questions about self-harm or suicide. Mm -hmm. And that's not easy either. That's as scary as asking the big questions about why or what's this about. Um, but because there's such prevalence, I feel like it's it's important to show that it's okay that we talk about that. Hmm. And they, if they say no, then they say no and we carry on. Hmm.